Hello friends, welcome to Village Idiots Christ, we're nuts for Jesus and just plain nuts. I know it's been a couple of weeks. I have been quite sick, and so overcoming, and so uh, finally getting where I can get up in the, <laughs> in the morning, and and uh, uh, it's a personal thing, I'd rather not talk about it, you know, just uh, just going through, you know, we go through crap, you know, physical stuff, and and uh so just been going through some physical difficulties and so being 60 ain't easy so anyway we're in psalms today i'm gonna just we're just gonna pick up we're just gonna keep the flow going and uh and uh so we're in psalms uh 40 and possibly 41 today we're new living and so let's just jump right in here and see where it goes but we're nuts for jesus and just plain nuts and uh we got a new phone here today, so it might be a better picture, might be better sound quality. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, Psalms 40 today. So, and hopefully, possibly the spoken word poem today. That would be lovely as well. So we're we're just trying to get back into full time ministry, full time morning swing ministry if we can. And so we hope you enjoy these, and we're gonna get right back to it. So let's just go ahead. And again, you know, you know how it works. I'm in the car. It's late. It's like 4.30 in the morning here. Can't sleep. <laughs> so so, so uh, I'm trying to just uh, keep the light as low as possible uh, so I can see and yet and yet be able to. Let me see here. Let's, let's, do, let's see. Let's try that here. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to see if... Uh, no, no I need, uh, we got to run the... We got to run the light here. My little light. So, okay. This is Psalms 40. For the choir director of Psalm of David, I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground. He settled, he steadied me, he steadied me as I walked along. Man, <sighs> you know, this is, this is just the first two verses in here, and you know, God's a good God. God's a good God. If you'll see his love, it'll just amaze you. So let's go back. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me. Patience, that's another thing. You know, we have to wait patiently. Timing, the timing is never ours. You know, how his help comes, his help comes, but it's in, in his own time for his own reasons. And it sometimes seems hard and cruel. Why do I have to wait, God? You know what? We don't have those answers on this side of eternity. But we either trust God or we don't trust God. Uh, and he turned to me and heard my cry. So he always turns to us. He always hears our cry. I mean, what I've been going through physically in the last two weeks has been tough. And I had one day where it was like death. And I wanted to die. I was on an 8 or 9 out of a 10 pain scale. It was horrible. I went through a really difficult time. and But he got me through it. You know, he got me through it. He rested me. And we got through it together. Um, he lifted me out of the pit of despair. I'm, I totally get the scripture today. You know, I, I totally get what he's saying. He, to, he lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and mire. Sometimes you, you feel like your feet are stuck in mud. You just feel like you're stuck. Um, he set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He takes The Bible talks how he takes us like a little child by our hands and leads and guides us. Uh, verse 3, he has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Amen. So he's put a new song in my heart, and I've been praising and been in the joy of the Lord. And uh, you know what? That's the, the the joy of getting through these things on the other side of it. There's so much joy. There's so much peace. There's so much security because you know God will get you through whatever he has to get you through. Um, he has given me a new song. I have praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. The question is today, are you putting your trust in the Lord? That's the key. You have to put your, you, do you trust him or don't you? You have to ask yourself, do I really trust God or not? And if you don't, ask him to help you trust him. Amen. Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. Wow. Oh, the, listen, it. oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord. It's one of my four favorite things, the joy of the Lord. 
There is such joy in my heart because I trust the Lord. Do you have that same joy today? You can have it if you'll just abandon yourself to trusting the Lord. To trusting the Lord. Oh, oh Lord my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. Now, this is good. Now, this, <laughs> you run across this. Now, this, now listen again to what he's saying here. Oh, the Lord, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. His, you can't list. If you started trying to list all the things the Lord has done for us and others, it's, it's, it's an impossible list to make. It's too big. Um, if I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. That's exactly right. That's it. We're going to spend eternity coming. We're going to spend eternity continuing to see more and more and more of the goodness of God and who he is forever, forever. This never ends. You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me lit, um, huh? Let's see, huh. okay. I I kind of I kind of stumbled because it it's the same thought, but he kind of turns how he does it. And listen to this: You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offerings and sin offerings. Then I said, look, I have come as it is written about me in the scriptures. I take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. This is talking about Jesus Christ, by the way, here. Verse uh, uh, verse uh, uh, 7 and 8 uh, are about Jesus because um, uh, I have come. Uh, then I said, look, I have come. As it is written about me in the, in the, in the scriptures of the scrolls, I take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. I'm not familiar with New Living as much as New International, so, but this is about talking about Jesus. I have come to do your will, O God, Jesus said. And so he has, he came and he did the will of his Father. Amen. And his, and God's instructions were written on his heart. Jesus said, I don't do anything. I never speak anything unless the Father gives, gives me it to speak. Amen. I have told of all, I have told all your people about your justice. I have not, I have not been afraid to speak out as you, O Lord, well know. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and your saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. That's again, this is Jesus. And Jesus proclaimed who the Father was. Let's read this again. I have told, I have told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out as you, O Lord, well know. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and your saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and, un and faithfulness. Man, this is good stuff. God, Jesus fully proclaimed the glory of his Father. Amen. Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. I love that. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. Now, listen to this again. This is uh, verse 11. Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Luke talks about how his mercies are fresh and new every day. Uh, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles surround me, too many to count. My sins pile up so high. Now, again, this isn't Jesus, of course. My sins pile up so high, I can't see my way out. They outnumber the hairs of my head. I have lost all my courage. <laughs> Wow. So we're shifting, you know, like I told you, we do, we do these 180 degree turns in the scriptures where it changes from one thought to the other. That's what we have here, where it's talking about now it's shifting into, you know, about, about our sins. This isn't, of course, Christ speaking. He had no sin. And so, um, let's see, uh, let's see, trouble strong. My sins pile up so high, I can't see my way. I can't see my... You feel like that sometime? Your sins are piled up so high, you can't see your way out of it. It's, your life is such a mess by your own hand that you, you just can't overcome. Uh, they outnumber the hairs on my head. They, I, they, I have lost all my courage. Um, please, Lord, 
Rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame. For they said, Aha, we, we, we've we got him now. <laughs> you know, repentance is a beautiful gift from God. He, I told my friend Dwight the other day that... Um, I live in a state of perpetual repentance. I live in a state of uh, the big book. Um, if you're familiar with, um, um, if you're familiar with uh, the twelve step program, there's they have a big book that the original founder wrote. And one of the one of the steps is take a fearless moral inventory. And I do this on a daily basis. I clear the decks with God every day. I'm not a sin conscious person, but I look at you know if I if I notice that I've really been off in an area, I'll talk to God about it. And I try to keep it in front of God. And, uh, and and it's not a fear of hell thing. It's just wanting the relationship to stay intact. I don't want to, I don't want to, har- I don't want to hurt God. I don't want to harm God, break his heart by walking in darkness and stuff. So we can, we can choose to self-examine and keep it all out in front of God as a daily thing. Amen. And that's what's going on here. Um, and please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. He just got done talking about sin. And now he's talking about uh, being rescued. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let that, and, and again, may those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Again, David wrote this, and David, you know, his enemies were always coming after him. And people will take advantage. If you've made mistakes and stuff, people will take advantage of you. People will, um, people will, um, take your, 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 your mistakes and all that, and they'll try to destroy you because them. They, a lot of people don't, don't believe in repentance. A lot of people, let's just kill him. Let's get rid of this guy. And David was dealing with this too. And so, but it's good that we can keep things right with God. Amen. And that those who would try to use our past against us, you know, will be put to shame. You know, Romans 8, 1, Romans 8, verse 1, there is therefore no condemnation for those who live in Christ. Amen. We are forgiven. Amen. Uh, may those who take the life back, turn back, let them be horrified by their shame. For they always, for they said, aha, we've got him now. So a lot of people, a lot of people can't wait till you fall down. Isn't that nice? They gloat over you. They're looking forward to your destruction. What a cruel, what a cruel, wicked, evil heart. You know, all of us have sin. All of us are making mistakes. All of us fall short. And yet there's some people out there that are just take the light in people falling short. They love it when people, I see what I said about him. I told you that guy was a schmuck. Look at him on the ground right there. Look what he's done. You know, and forgetting their own sin, not looking at themselves. A lot of darkness. A lot of darkness. Amen. Um, Let's see. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation. Here it is. Now, this is getting good. Now, we're shifting gears again. Now, just go with this. Listen. Let's start again. Um, Okay. This is uh, verses... um, uh, four, 16 and 17. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. Isn't that neat? If you're searching for him, may you be filled with joy and gladness in him. May those who love your salvation, how about you? You love the salvation we have in Christ? I do. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, the Lord is great. As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. Oh, isn't that good? For, as for me, listen, this is so good. As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. Isn't it cool that God's thinking about you? You're in God's thoughts. He's thinking about you personally. He, and, and he's saying, Lord, keep me in your thoughts. Don't just pass me by. Just, just don't have a momentary thought about me. Keep me in your thoughts. Um, uh, you are my helper and my savior. Oh my God, do not delay. Wow. That's the end of 40. That is so good. Let's let's read this whole last part. But but may all who search for you be filled. So you got to be searching for God. Like Jesus said, you got to ask, seek, and those who ask, seek, and knock, receive. Are you asking? Are you seeking? Are you knocking? 
And that's what he's saying here. But may all who search for you, asking, seeking, and knocking, be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, The Lord is great! As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my savior. Oh my God, do not delay. Man, that's all we're doing today. That's uh, 15 minutes in. That's chapter 40. And uh, man... So you see the balance here, you know, we're struggling and, and, and people see our struggle and they gloat over us, our struggle. Some people wish only harm for us. They're glad when we fall, but God is our salvation. We can trust him and he gets us through. He's there. He rescues us. He delivers us and he isn't going to delay. Wow. What a good way. This is a good way to start ministry back. I'm hoping to get a poem done here in a second. This is a this was a good way to start here. So, welcome back. It's Psalms verse 40. Village Jesus Christ, nuts for Jesus and just plain nuts. We're out of our mind. It's for the sake of God. If in our right mind, it's for your sake. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Understanding the Bible through humor and sanity and common sense. Welcome back, kids. Sorry I've been gone, but whew, it's been a tough two weeks or a tough week and a half, but we made it through. And back back in back in the saddle again. Love you, love you, can't get enough of you. We will see you later.